Let's quote from my previous commentary, Tazriah, that we just uh, uh, studied just recently. The proof that the coming Messiah was a genuine and not a phony was demonstrated not only in that he would heal the afflicted individual, but that he himself would not become defiled. Surely he was the Messiah for those days, and surely he is the Messiah for us today, end quote. You know, as I stated at the close of the previous commentary, quote, when our uncleanness encounters the holiness of the prophet from Netzeret, our disease must flee. We have no need to go about crying, tamay, tamay, unclean, unclean. Rather, we have the freedom to pronounce tahor, tahor, cleansed, cleansed. This wonderful truth the one I'm describing for us, is a result of our placing our trusting faithfulness in the hands of the healer of healers. Why do we resist his healing? Just like the leprous individuals of our two poor portions, we need to come before the priest. For only his office was given the authority to make the pronouncement tame upon the inflicted individual. And in fact, reference Parashat Tazriah, read Leviticus 13, verse 6, verse 13, verse 17, verse 23, verse 28, verse 34, verse 37, verse 38, verse 41, verse 58, and verse 49. 40, uh, 59. And from Parashat Mitzorah, read Leviticus 14, verse 8, verse 9, verses 18 through 20, and verses 29 through 32. The priest is the one who was um, given the authority to make the pronouncement. The priest is the one who was the... Um, uh, the eyes and ears of God, as it were. He is the one who diagnoses the individual, and he is the one who pr- makes the pronouncement whether or not the individual was clean. He was not the individual in the case of the Tanakh who was able to clean the individual, who was able to heal the individual. However, by comparison, Yeshua being our great high priest, he is the one who demonstrated that he is very one with God, the Father, by becoming the only one who could heal such an individual. You see how the office of Yeshua uh, carries dual functions of both high priest as well as God? Yeshua is our high priest. He is the one who was hearing the the, the prayers and the intercession. Uh, he intercedes for us on behalf of a holy God and otherwise uh, unholy people. Yet, Yeshua also demonstrates his oneness with the Father, by being the only individual, the only person able to heal a person afflicted with a deadly, infectious, leprous disease known as Tzara'at. It must be individually internalized by each and every one of us today that, that, that in our Messiah Yeshua, the Torah calls all genuine believers a kingdom of Kohanim, a kingdom of priests, a title previously exclusively reserved Ram Yisrael in Exodus 19.6, but now extended unto the entire body of our Lord. Read Revelation 1.6. What, what is the implication? What, how does that bear significance for us today that, that, um, that we are referred to as a kingdom of priests, both in Revelation and in 1 Peter, I might add? Well, as priests, we have the awesome responsibility of showcasing the glory of of Hashem to the surrounding nations, as well as ministering to one another in the body. That's right. The priest was responsible for ministering healing, as it were, to the people who came to him. In his diagnosis of the disease, he was doing the work of God. He was not healing the people but he was doing the work of God. He recognized that in pronouncing the person unclean, that he was safeguarding the ritual purity of the community and in welcoming the very same individual back into the community after the healing took place, he was again doing the work of God. It comes full circle. How does this apply to you and I today? Well, this means that the healing of the person afflicted with Sarat among us takes place when the genuine flow of mercy and grace from the healer flows through us. We don't heal the individual. We are his hands and his feet. We extend mercy and grace to the individual. And God is the one who does the healing. Yes, today, Yeshua still seeks to touch those lepers among us. Yet his hands and his feet are 
actuated, as it were, within our hands and our feet. If we fail to reach out to our own community, then how is Yeshua able to heal among us? We have been given the important task of becoming His hands and His feet so that we can reach out to those in our community who are desperately needing a healing from the Master. We extend the mercy of God to those in our community as we interact with them. We have become His extension of mercy and healing among the inflicted and the afflicted, I might add. We've got to reach out to one another in love and mercy. We cannot close up and withdraw ourselves from interacting with those in our community. To be sure, it's a sin.